I'm just continuing my videos about the job seek in Germany. And you know, recently I just spoken to a guy from uh, the organization uh, Amnesty International. Uh, here I got some papers from uh, them. And uh, you know, uh, I just was interested what are they doing and uh, they told me that they are supporting the human rights and uh, they have some 30 human rights according to Amnesty International and then they, they go and support them if somebody reported that they are not followed and then actually I asked this guy about discrimination and for example uh, I asked him about discrimination if somebody is looking for a job and he's always rejected based on his uh, uh, visa or based on his allowance to work or based on his nationality or whatever if that is a discrimination and he answered yes and then I asked him uh, for example uh, why uh, just ask him uh, like in Germany you also have these cases and uh, that uh, you uh, also ask people in the resume about their age about their nationality what is not allowed actually to ask in, in North America where you can't put the age or ask the age of people or ask their nationality or even ask their uh, like how many children they have or if they're married or if they uh, for example uh, yeah that's what you you can cannot ask you know because some people think personal about their, their own sex for example if they're male or female you can't ask uh, people if you are male or female because some people there are some males who feel like females and other way around this is a personal thing and I asked him why do you ask this in Germany for example and and he told me there are uh, he told me about something different there are rules and, and there are rules for everything and that's what I think is, is it can be explained like there are rules you know like you can say that uh, there are rules, for example, to put nationality, right? What is the rule to put your nationality? Who cares where are you from if you have a right degree and you're allowed to work in Germany or you have your experience? Does it care actually? Does it actually play any role? I don't think so. But you know, here in Germany they always think about rules and there are rules for everything. And I think other ways, there is no rules um, like there are some rules that cannot become a rule, uh, or they are really inhuman, for example, or uh, these rules may not um, benefit to people, that's why I think they are inhuman. So if they are not benefit to you, and let's say in the resume you didn't put your nationality, and that's why you got rejected, and this happened, uh, in many companies I asked, um, why did you reject me? They said, you don't have a proper resume, you don't have nationality or you don't have your age and, and we, we have to reject these applicants. So I think in this case he wasn't really correct, um, maybe because um, he doesn't have enough experience. Well, he told me he, he, he was to some uh, uh, third countries uh, and, and he had a case when somebody came to him and, and um, asked for money or whatever and he thinks that this is a very bad thing but I asked him, that, him if, if that person asked for money because of some other violence if, if he was pressurized and this is uh, all what people can do if it is, is it a crime I also asked him about another thing I asked him look there is, there is a lot of uh, refugees here in Germany and sometimes they uh, even may steal things because they don't have a food to eat and this is already a crime, so is it fair to call them a criminals if they just uh, have not enough food and money and they steal the food because there is a, a desire to eat? No, I, I wouldn't say like this because, you know, uh, the crime that is done because somebody else uh, put on you rules or requirements uh, that are inhuman is not a real crime because if you don't have enough food to eat or you're on the street and you are not allowed, for example, to work like in my case, and you, um, at the moment when you don't have food, you have two options. Either you um, ask for money on the streets, or you steal the food, and this is only because of these rules. So the rules, there are, there are some rules here, these rules, that pressurize you to do the crime. And if, if for example, police comes and say, okay, you stole this food, you're guilty, I think you're not guilty, I think the rules are guilty and this is what has to be changed.